Wish your marriage could change for the better. Want intimacy, fun, attention, better communication, and sex back in your marriage? Stay tuned for a supercharged episode of Recharge Your Marriage coming up right now. Hello, I'm Zev Halpern, and thanks for joining us for Recharge Your Marriage. How's it been going for you? Status quo, you say? You're both right, and that's not making either of you happy? Maybe your marriage is stressing you out a bit. Have you checked your pulse lately? You have one? Great. You're still alive, and you're still married. Okay, we got something to work with. We have a great, informative, and stimulating show, which includes a special guest, Amy Schoen, Coach Amy, who will share her relationship coaching wisdom and expertise. We look forward to Amy's insight. Tonight, I'm very excited to introduce and welcome the It Takes Two Players Improv Troupe, who will be fortifying our understanding of how we really act and show us how we act out in our private marriage arenas. Tonight's show will have three segments aimed at moving your marriage forward. Recharge Your Marriage is an opportunity I hope you'll use to focus your valuable time on considering options for improving your marriage. I have a small request so you get the most out of this time we have together. Open your minds and hearts a bit Think about what you can do to meet each other's needs, even if you're angry, fed up, tired of trying, things many of us experience in the ebbs and tides of our marriages. There are things you can do to nourish the growth of a collaborative partnership for life, love, and the long haul. Well, let's get right to the Marriage matter segment. Hey, I'm home. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm so, sorry. I'm just. I'm just doing the dishes. Okay. Sorry. I just. I just don't want to. You know. I'm just getting. I, I understand. Yeah. Um. Okay. How's your sugar day? It's good. Yours. All right. Everything okay? All right, um, okay. Oh, traffic. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? Beat. Mm. Okay. Well, <sighs> I'm almost done. How was your day? Bad, just, Why? it's okay, no, it's all right. Uh, I just gotta sit down. Well, here, let me turn this off. Here. Thank you. Come and tell me about your problems. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, horrible day. Yeah. Yeah. Is it your boss again? Who else? What's the new one? What, what's her name again? Don't even worry about it. This is just, I need it. You thank need another help. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. Here, that'll wait till later. Here's a tool that will show you, through the eyes of an audience, what your marriage looks like and how you could improve the unhappy current marriage status quo and reset the dial for a happier marriage. So it's theater night, ladies and gentlemen. Been to the theater lately? Please imagine that you're at the theater. The audience is restless, excited, ready for the show to begin. 
Feel the excitement in the air? Hear the orchestra? The matinee today is scenes from your marriage. Uh-oh. Really? Even those times when I, yep, even those times. Oh, boy. Think of your marriage as a long-running play. Look at your marriage from the audience's view. What do they see? How do you act to each other? Is there intimacy, emotional, sexual? Is there fear and hurt? What's missing? Are they sensing your frustration, even desperation? What would it take for you to get back up? Don't you want to show them you have resolve, fortitude, and that it's time to shake things up a bit? Look, I want to be with you. I want this marriage to work, but I have needs. Watch this couple in action. Sorry. Oh. Jeez. Are you still? Wait. Stop. Wait, you just stop. No. Just stop. I'm not starting anything. Oh, are you still? Please. Please. How long? I mean, I'm... how long are we going to have to be like this? I don't know. I don't know. You just, you just. Oh, you don't know. Really, open ended. Really pissed me off today. We talked about it already. I know, but I, I'm still angry. Well, you're always still angry, and it's, it's enough already. You know what? So what? Now you're telling me how to feel? You feel however you want to feel. All right, I'm leaving. I'll be Good. downstairs. Good. Good. What exactly are we fighting about? Okay. Perhaps it doesn't look so good right now. So let's try and be creative. Close a chapter. Script a new chapter. You're the author. You have the authority. Let's be scene play writers. Write us out of an unhappy relationship. Write a good marital outcome into the script. How about a doable, reasonable, possible outcome for two people really trying to stay married? and they lived reasonably good enough ever after, fulfilling and supporting their partner's emotional and sexual needs more times than not. Not perfect, but what an improvement. Do some focused wishful thinking. Write in your wish. Let your desires be known. Put yourself in a story of your choice. Pour some new ingredients into the mix. We need to rearrange the scenes with our mutual needs being met. We need to be clear on what those needs are. When we are clear about those needs, we can begin to set the stage to have some reasonable, good, and better times. This is the challenge. Find out what you both like and need by talking with each other about what you need. Hey, Zev, talking sounds like a novel idea, but not so easy. Who said anything about easy? Not easy, possible, doable. Look at the difference in these couples. Honey, you'll never guess what I've got for this weekend. Well, we're going away. We are where? We'll, we'll, we'll go upstate. It'll be great. We'll have a great time. I got, I got your mother to take care of the kids. Whoa, whoa, Everything's whoa, whoa, set whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. What? what? We're going to go away for the weekend. Why? Just, you, why, why are we going away? Like we used to. Oh, this weekend? Yes, this weekend. Why are we doing that? No, next weekend. No. Yes, this week. But Why? Because it's a surprise. It's a... It's a surprise? Surprise? Like, I have... Uh, but... I don't want... Uh, that's but too much of a surprise. What, what am I supposed to do? I, I have the chance. you wanted me to be romantic. I thought you wanted me to be spontaneous. Not where it's gonna, like, actually stress me out the entire weekend while we're there. What's the stress? It's all taken care of. We just go. You took care of everything? It's all done. Everything. There's no way. You gotta... No way. Listen, I, I've got the reservations already put together. We've got our tickets ready to go. Tickets? Reservations? What are we talking tickets. about? I told you. We've got to hop the train. We're going to go. It'll be. What are we going to be doing? Well, we'll find out when we get there. It'll be great. We'll find out when we get there? We'll do whatever How we want. How do I know want. what to pack? Honey, guess what? 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 We're going away this weekend. Just you and me. We are? Everything's taken care of. Seriously? Seriously. Everything. What do you mean? What about the kids? Kids. Mother. You're good. She's going to take care of them. We're are you serious? Go. Yes, I talked to her. I, I made a few calls. Everything's put together. Where are you going? We're going upstate. Little place. It's quiet. Just Did you, you just book all that? I booked everything. 
That's so sweet. It's both of us. All right. Thank so you. now all we have to do is hop in the car and go. You're so romantic. Yeah, what do you think? Huh? I love it. Okay. I love it. He's Surprise great. your spouse with something they like. Even if you don't get positive results from your partner, well, you've taken a step in moving your marriage forward and give yourself the credit you so richly deserve. And one more thing to help you along. I have a free gift for your marriage. Just go to closermarriage.com right now and download the Recharge Your Marriage Guide for him and for her, Starting Steps. This is something you can do for your marriage right now. So now, take your partner's hand. That would be a beautiful thing, wouldn't it? And walk with me to the bedroom for the Sexpectation segment of the program. So this sexual bliss, ecstasy, relief, everybody wants some. Can I have some too? Oh, you want some? I want some also. Is there any for me in my marriage? Seems like sexual pleasure is something people want but get less of in some marriages. This is felt by many of us, especially as books, periodicals, TV and movies portray how everybody is having steamy, sensual sex of all kinds all over the place. Fifty Colors of Horny Three is in the theaters now. Finally, Sexy Blues Anatomy at Randy University Hospital returns next week with new and improved foreplay before pre-op to do all over the hospital in post-op. I just can't wait. So many aren't having any, getting any. Why not? Many just have sex alone. Less complicated. There are plenty of internet and real-time outlets to embellish the ritual of individual sex, the secret sex relief valve. Smooth, no back talk, not too complicated, got to find relief somewhere, and please, no judgment here. Sex in marriage takes a back seat to numerous priorities in our lives. Pay the bills, got to get it done. Wash the underwear, it's nice to have clean underwear. Have sex, oh that can wait. The routine begins to be not having sex together. That's pretty much what will happen. You fall out of the habit, not easy to get it going again. It takes time, creativity, flexibility, and sometimes help. Check this couple out. Hey hon, mm -hmm. hon. Yes. Remember last weekend when uh, we were in La Atlantic City? Mm-hmm. And, you know, we went shopping? Yeah. At that store? Yes. Yeah, well, I was thinking maybe I'll break one of those out. I can do, yes, yes, let's do that. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, you want to, um, uh, now? I mean, because, I mean, it's still on. Okay. Now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, why don't you uh -huh. get ready and let me know when you're ready. Okay. I will. Mm -hmm. Honey. <laughs> Honey. Yeah. I'm ready. Uh, okay, uh, I'm coming right up. You know what? You want to, you want to. You want to finish this first? What? Uh, I'll be right up. I'll be, I swear, I'll be right up. It's almost over. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm coming, coming. So, honey. Yes? Remember a couple weeks ago when we went out of town? Yes, I do. And I went shopping? I guess. Well, I picked up a little something for us. A little something like what I'm thinking? A, a, a little something. A little. Ooh, that's, that's... Get in my hand. Mm, I like this. Yeah? 
Yes. Let's yeah. go. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Guess what? You can have some intimate time, right in the privacy or sanctity of whatever you consider the bonds of your marriage to be. Help is available in all kinds of shapes and sizes, sex toys, lotions, potions. Marital aids is what they've been called, but it's been a bit seedy connotation due to where you had to go in the old days to get these products. And at the pharmacy of old, if you wanted your basic condom, you had to search or ask the little old lady, do you have a prophylactic section? Ask a kid now if they know what a prophylactic is. Sounds a lot better than asking the little old lady for the rubbers with the ridges, colors, and with the drip tip. Why was there always that little old lady behind the counter? Well, anyway, things have definitely changed for the better. Fast forward to 2014. I was in my neighborhood pharmacy a few weeks ago. Now, your local pharmacy is a regular sex boutique. This is a good thing. Lotions, condoms, vibrators. It's a real partying drugstore in my neighborhood. Even saw a product. Romantic night in a box for two. Everything you might need. This box was so amazingly seductive looking, I just wanted to jump in the box and see what was going on in there. Wow, we sure have come a long way. So what's the point? The point is, in order to keep the sex going without going stale, there's help. Even before all these male and female enhancing drugs out there, which you need to see a doctor about. It's not a dirty thing. It's sanitized and provides many feel-good aids. Help you may need to get it all going. So what if you've never tried it before? If it helps get things started, and it helps keep things moving along, and it helps to get things done in a pleasurable way, sounds like a win to me. You remember, play nice in the sandbox. You and I are children and adults in that body of ours, meaning we can play act the scene. Get in that sandbox, and if you feel passion, express it. If you feel naughty or spicy, express it. Look at this couple's willingness to try new things. So, honey? Yes? What I brought home today? Oh, what do you have in there? Why don't you take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. <laughs> Just the things I thought I'd pick up, you know? Oh, no. Yeah, see? Oh. Uh, and that maybe, I thought maybe we could try this. Mm-hmm. And well, then? Well, you know, I really like this, and we oh. could work some of that together, maybe. Oh, well, and if we use that one with if, that one. Well, if you start, I have something for oh, you yeah. that maybe Ooh. could help us get that whole thing started. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so cute. Well, so why don't you see how how that will? Oh, I can well, do that. Well, you know that. what? We might not need it too long, actually, though. Um, <laughs> how about we use this, and then maybe just a little bit of that. Just a little bit. Just, just a little a, bit. Just of that a little to start. bit. Just a just a. Does that sound like a plan? Honey, could we do that warming lotion again? That felt fantastic. Honey, thanks for this evening. I know you made a special effort for it, but it was greatly appreciated. The two of you got close. You experimented with some new sexually enhancing tools and props. The bonds of your marriage strengthened. There's no downside. Grant yourself permission to explore, experiment, and play. The chances that you'll be doing this again have just increased exponentially. When you go to the sandbox again, or the bed, or wherever to play, bring some new attitude. And if you want, bring some props and tools to get things rolling for a more mutually satisfying experience. Welcome back. In the Marriage Pulse tonight, we welcome Amy Schoen, Coach Amy, a successful coach and author. Amy, so happy you could be here tonight. Thanks for having me. 
Amy Schoen, dating relationship life coach, has helped countless marriage-minded individuals find and create and nurture successful relationships for 10 plus years. Coach Amy has authored books, Get It Right This Time, How to Find and Keep Your Ideal Relationship, and Motivated to Marry, A Better Method for Dating and Relationships. Amy, your life experience of divorce and remarriage is foundational in the fantastic work you're doing. Tell us how you got started. Well, um, I was driven to want to have a better relationship. I divorced in my mid-30s from my first marriage. I got married at 25. It was a 10-year marriage, of course disappointed. And some of us don't just say, OK, um, that's OK. But we move forward, and we want to learn, and we want to grow and say, OK, how can I do this better? How can I make better decisions for myself? So in that journey, I also, I read books, I went to seminars, and I worked with, with a coach and, and a therapist myself. And through that process, I really kind of discovered some things, and I wanted to share that with other people. So when I had to make a career switch, coaching was the natural choice. And you've done some wonderful things. You help people get ready to find their ideal relationship, you support their search, and you go the extra mile in trying to help them sustain their relationship. When yes. I got to page 84 of your book, you have this beautiful highlight in there that says, why didn't they teach us this in school? And so many of us have thought that. You've heard that before, but you put it you know, in the book. And it was very eloquent. It was a perfect um, place. And you know, the question, all I had to do was put my hands up and go, why don't we? And, and it made me realize that that's why they need us. Um, to be out there because people need skills that they just they don't get right and people like you and people like me are out there trying um, to give people skills because it's, it's almost not fair to throw people in without you know giving them those kinds of skills married people in our audience are looking for ways to refresh their marriages in their dating and you're a dating specialist so what would you tell them you yeah know, so you need to date your spouse we all know that you have to make time to go out and be a couple with one another. And I, you know, I know I have a small child and we are busy and we have our schedule, but if you don't make that time to reconnect just the two of you, um, that's, that's gonna be hurt your marriage. And, and you really have to take turns and take responsibility for planning. And what happens is someone becomes like the, the better planner in the family. And that person is always doing it. And, and there's something the called- calendar. You know, they, no, they planning the dates. It's like we have a date. What are we doing? And that one person is always planning those dates. And there becomes something called role nausea when you're constantly doing the same role over again. You're like, oh, you know, give that person a break and say, take the responsibility. And then, you know, just say, I'm going to plan it tonight. You don't have to do anything. So the person gets like this, why do I always have to be the one? Why do I always have to be the one that does this? Can't you just take the you know, take the lead and please yeah. plan something. Surprise <laughs> me. Make me, you know, Yeah, and not sometimes, have to be well, the one. some people don't like surprises, so you have to know your spouse. But there's really about, again, you know, putting the two heads together and saying, okay, what kind of things would we want to do? And sometimes I am the better planner and the creative person in the family, and my husband is, is a good implementer. So we, we work with our strengths. So I do work with your strengths as well, if that's okay. And so we do come up with, I come up with the ideas and then we work on it together and we figure out what we want to do. And then my husband goes online and gets the tickets or whatever we needs to be done for that. So it really is about, and then how do you make it special? Um, you know, do something a little crazy, like why not like meet at the place? Uh, at it's the restaurant great, and idea. pretend you're on a date and you're meeting for the first time, you know, or, or yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, there's something sexy about it. something... Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, one has to kind of think a little out of the box and, and again, you know, make that a special time for just the two away from the kids. You know, get a sitter or someone to help you out. Trade with another couple who'll take your, your children one night and then maybe you'll do the same for them. Great so there's, idea. there are ways to kind of get that time because I know how precious that is. So, so it's all about, you know, 
coming together, just the two and having fun and what's fun for you and, and, and as a couple. It's great advice. Tell us about your Motivated to Marry program that you're out there doing right, right now. Well, I like to help people who are really looking for relationships. And I have an eight-week course that I work with uh, uh, clients and, and people. And you can take it online. You can, you can take it as a self-learning program. You can take it in a group. Or you can work with me one-on-one -on -one and get a little extra help on that. So basically, it's really about helping other people, helping yourself really get clearer about what you want from a relationship and how to go about finding it in a way that's authentic and a way that you're going to go out there and make it fun and make it less stress and really put your best foot out there and make sure that you are going to succeed in finding that love of your life. Amy, thanks so much for sharing your coaching wisdom with us tonight. If you want to check out Amy's work, you can reach her at Coach Amy at heartmindconnection.com. Check out Amy's free online e-course, Seven Steps to Finding Your True Love Partner, at www.motivatedtomarry.com. To contact the It Takes Two Players, improv at chrispanic.com, or call Chris at 240-428 8024. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Stay tuned for our next show, jam packed with info, guests, and stimulating surprises. Email comments and opinions to zev at closermarriage.com. If your marriage needs help, log on to closermarriage.com. Check out the Diamond Coaching Package or book your spot in one of our online events or telecoaching groups. Check it all out at closermarriage.com or call me directly, 301-332-0711. I look forward to the opportunity of working with you personally. Check out the Closer Marriage blog. Comments welcomed and encouraged. Like us on Facebook. Connect with us on Twitter and the YouTube channel. Finally, listen, hug, kiss, talk, touch, validate, empathize, cuddle, laugh a little. And for all of us in these challenging times, be kind to those you meet. We're all fighting a great battle. We're all in need of some loving kindness. See you next time for Recharge Your Marriage. Thank you.